Hello, all you budgeting babes. This is Dee, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. I just got back from my camping trip, and I am going to be posting some footage of the cash stuffing that I did at Kerrville Shriner Park. Say that three times real fast. Anywho, that's for another day. I had debated putting a video up to post while I was gone because I didn't want to miss my regular Saturday post, but I also wanted to bring you a cash stuffing in the wild. So I will post that by tomorrow. However, while I was gone, the most amazing thing happened and that is that I hit 400 subscribers. I want to say number one to each and every person that has subscribed to my channel, you have no idea how much I appreciate your support. The idea that 400 people have liked my content enough that they want to subscribe and have it come to them on a regular basis, it just blows my mind and I am so incredibly appreciative of each and every one of you. And I know that I love to find people and subscribe to their channels. And I hope that you are finding my content to be both enjoyable and something that you can learn from. In addition, I couldn't have done this without support from members in this community. I have had uh, Liz has called me out a few times and, and shared my videos, which has gotten, gotten me a good amount of subscribers when she's done that. And Wendy from the Thrifty Sewist just this week, commented uh, to, to send people over to check out my channel and I got enough subscribers to hit the 400. And I could not do this without them because you know, it's hard. It's hard to get your stuff out there. And so when these, when we support each other and we help one another, it, the whole community benefits because through that I meet new people who have channels and they subscribe to me and I notice they have a channel and then I go subscribe to them and then I'm learning from them and they're learning from me. And that is what makes this whole process so beautiful. I don't yet get enough comments on my feed that I think it would be productive to do a giveaway in that way and do a physical giveaway, you know, where you do a random comment picker, etc. So what I am going to do is do a savings challenge for everyone and I believe it will work. I'm just going to post a link to a Google Doc. Everyone will have access to this challenge. Even if you're not a subscriber, feel free to download the challenge. Hopefully you'll like it so much and say, wow, I should really follow this woman and, and subscribe to her channel. But if you don't, if you just want the savings challenge, that is okay too. I have made the savings challenge and I also created dashboards. Both of those files will be in the, in the, com in the description box below. And the dashboards are both A5 and A6 size. I had prepared this a couple months ago, hoping that I would reach 400 by the time I went to the Pacific Northwest because then this challenge would just perfectly flow into my big adventure this summer. And of course, I had the red van there so that it was Little Red Van Takes an Adventure. And now it's Little White Van Goes on an Adventure. Now, the name of my van is Vinbloch. All right, and that is French for white wine. The name of my red van was Van Rouge, which was French for red wine. So it's a fancy way of saying red van or white van. There's a very special story as to how it got that name, but I'm not ready to share that yet. So we're just going to celebrate that little white van is soon to be going on her grand adventure. And I would like you to come along with me. Let me zoom in. So, Little White Van starts out on her trip. And you're going to roll the dice. And you're going to see how many miles you go per day as you're going through the, the desert. And then through to the beach and the forest and the mountains and back in the desert. And everywhere that Little White Van is going to have an adventure. And you're going to roll those dice. You're going to pay one penny for every mile that you travel that day. I had to do one penny because, you know, a little red van, I want this to be a savings challenge that people can afford, but a little white van needs to travel more than a mile or two a day. So I made it one penny so that that would be 100 and 200 and 300 mile increments. You're going to roll the dice and if you stop before you hit a red, which means that you have traveled a safe distance for the day and have not been driving tired, 
then you just pay the amount on the space. If you stopped early because you were being very cautious and you land on a green square, then you can skip that if you would like. If you travel too far and you land on a red, you need to pay double. Of course, this is your savings challenge. You can play it any way you want, but that's just, you know, kind of how the game was written. And these bigger things are stops that you're going to take along the route. You can stop and park for free at a truck stop or maybe make a reservation at a national park. If you're going to go to a national park, you better have already reserved your spot. Same with state parks. And then you're going to travel along. Again, you can do this just one time. You can do it repeatedly until all the boxes are colored in. Your savings challenge, you have fun with it. But I just thought it would be a really fun way to share my adventure with all of you. And we can all play our little white van adventures. Notice, see, it says adventure. Do you see that? Yay! I hope that each and every one of you is able to go on this adventure with me using this savings challenge. And I also really hope that each and every one of you gets to do some kind of adventure this coming summer, even if it's just a picnic at the park. Bye.